Cubase? Well, uh, I've been an avid Cubase user for over 10 years now, and uh, I've been a faithful one, to be sincere, but I will not talk about Cubase's history. What I will talk about today is how Cubase 7 uh, helped me a lot uh, when I was recording, while I was recording uh, my Aegis Sky Spool. Uh, first of all, uh, the new features. Uh, the mixing console is a huge uh, change for engineers. Uh, you have all these plugins, all these channels, all these uh, effect, effect sends and stuff uh, coming and going through one screen and this the new mixer screen is quite flexible, uh, something that you can adapt to any place, uh, you know, in, on any screen, on any setup you want. And that's that's a huge uh, positive thing for 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 an engineer, especially when working on uh, metal 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 albums. Uh, you have over like 200 and 250 channels going on at the same time, and mixing those stuff is ridiculously hard uh, when compared to other uh, genres. And um, therefore, you need all the flexibility and all the ease of use uh, that you can get um, with Cubase 7. That flexibility is here, right here, right in your hands. And it, it helped me a lot, to be sincere. Uh, one other aspect that I that I, that I really liked since uh, Cubase 6.5 and with Cubase 7 is that um, the new drum editing tools are absolutely amazing. You know, uh, the, the the groove agent and together used with the uh, MIDI uh, sequencer that you can uh, convert all those drum stuff that a, that a drummer plays and then uh, adapting the sound sound tools the uh you know the libraries and stuff uh the 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 new drum editing tool really makes them work on quite perfectly without uh be, without need without creating the need to go off the third party plugins uh which you have to do in almost every other uh, audio workstation out there and believe me when i say that i've worked with every one of them uh, throughout the years um uh, one other thing that I liked about the new Cubase uh, stuff is that uh, the new channel screen. Uh, I always like the, the the way the Cubase handles the channel screen. You know the, the equalizers, the uh, FX channels, and the inserts. Uh, the the new one uh, gives you a much more better handling about the uh, channel stuff, the plugins, the uh, FX sends and stuff, and also the new. Uh, Outboard stuff is also quite, quite, quite uh, good. It, it was it's improved immensely, especially the uh, new to 12 decibel output uh, mix. Uh, something, some of the features that I adored, uh, which helped me a lot. Uh, one other thing uh, was the down mix quality, and um, what else? Ah, the Cubase is on iPad. Oh, you know when I work when I record stuff I usually uh, divide the project into two when recording the guitars the drums the bass uh, I have this full studio setup that I use you know the amplifiers the compressors the uh, effects and other analog stuff but when I'm recording vocals I try to be as mobile as possible because I I always carry my uh, equipment with me you know a small iPad or a netbook uh, with a small mobile sound card and the microphones um, but the, but the problem before was that each time I had this recording going on, I have to export all I had to export all the channels separately and then import re-import them to the main mixing uh, computer. Now with the sharing uh, possibilities coming with Cubases, uh, the, the the process became ridiculously easy. I mean, I can just record everything I want and just go back to my place, go back home, and just. Uh, press a button and share the project file and within minutes I, I, I will be able to uh, work on the, the mix right on my workstation this is this is a, this is a very good tool for any engineer out there and I I believe it's it's quite useful in every area of sound recording from field recordings to uh, small studio setups to fast-paced recordings anything you can think of um, so all in all, what I can tell is that I'm I was quite happy using Cubase, and I believe uh, I will be using Cubase Seven on my future uh, Maya endeavors, unless they try to release Cubase Eight.